Hello there guys and welcome to another Forza Horizon 5 video on my channel. This video is going to be a bit shorter than usual and we'll just be running through and giving you a few tunes for this week's winter slash dry season festival playlist of the series 17 Japanese automotive series. Uh, I have been away for a few weeks as you probably know if you read my post you'll be able to um, know why I was away for a few weeks however I did do a stream last weekend and that was to kind of get the channel back into normal content unfortunately I haven't got time this week to be able to do a normal uh, seasonal guide so I've just put to it just going to put together a short video for you tonight with a few tunes for these uh, PR stunts and the other challenges in the festival playlist just to help you out with them um, to try to help you get them completed if you were not aware, uh, for 20 points this week we have the Mitsubishi Galant VR4, that is a, a returning car from Horizon 4, it is a traffic car in Horizon 5 actually but we haven't been able to drive it until now, so if you unlock that you'll be able to drive it and that is an exclusive car. And then we have another hard to find exclusive car for 40 points, that is the Toyota AT37, so I'd highly recommend that you use the tunes that I suggest in this video to help you complete the challenges if you need them and then you'll be able to unlock them awesome rewards. Okay then, so for the trial circuit control, you'll need to use a car from Japan that is in B class and it will be on road racing. And, and the same restriction applies also for the two event labs. We have one from Vuku and we have one from Treflop 17. Um, so one of them is an Imperial circuit and one of them is uh, a Japanese Hill Tuj. Um, so I'll share all of my B-class Jap Japanese cars from my garage now, and you can pick and choose which you think are relevant to each of the challenges. Uh, you can use the same one for all three, or you can kind of differentiate between them. But if I show you all of my options, uh, then that is what I've got for you. Okay then, so there are quite a lot, so let's quickly whiz through them. So we've got the Honda S2000, that is the 2003 version, the 2016 Honda Civic Type R, and the 1994 Mazda MX-5, the Mazda RX-7 from 97, the Mazda Savannah RX-7 from 1990, and we have the Mitsubishi Evo 10 from 2008, the Evo 8 from 2006, and the Evo uh, 6 from 1999. We have the Nissan 370Z from 2010, uh, for some reason it doesn't like to show the picture of that one, but you'll have to take my word for it, it is actually there. Then we have the Nissan 350Z from 2003, the Nissan GTR R34 from 2002, the Subaru 22B from 98, the Subaru Legacy from 1990, the Toyota Celica from 1992, not to be confused with the 1994, and the Toyota Supra from not all of those tunes will be applicable to these challenges, but they are all of my B-class Japanese cars, and all of them are my tunes. Okay then, now we have the seasonal PR stunts. There are two of them this week. We have the Baja California Speed Trap, which is uh, an off-road one in uh, the Dunas Blancas. And then we have the Costera Drift Zone, which is an off-road drift zone down by Player Azul. So the restriction for both of these is S2 class anything goes. Obviously for the drifting one, you're going to need a car that can drift. Um, and for the Baja California Speed Trap, you're going to need a fast S2 um, PR stunt car, but is all that is also capable of going off road. Heading off by. Heading over to my garage, I have got a few options for this one. I've kind of tried to eliminate the ones that won't really be applicable for the off-road challenges, however some of them may cross over. So we've got the Audi RS6 Avant from 2015, that's kind of an underdog with off-road tyres. Then we have, uh, thank you for that James, then we have the Bugatti Devo from 2019. Uh, for the drifting uh, one we've got the Ford Shelby GT350, it's rear wheel drives and it might be a bit tricky on the, uh, the gravel. Then we have the uh, 777 Corvette Formula Drift and for also the drifting one, the Hoonigan uh, Hoonicorns, either of them will work. And then back to the speed trap, we have the Hoonigan RS200, of course that is always a good option. Uh, and if you want to as well, you can use the Mercedes AMG one, although it is strictly not an off-road tune, um, it will still be able to uh, complete this with a lot of momentum. Next up then, we have the Seasonal Championships, there are again only two of them this week, and both of them as usual will get you five points. Don't forget that these can be completed in solo or in co-op, we go into detail with that, but just do bear that in mind. So first of all we have Honda Pressure, that is street racing, and the restriction is B700 Honda. So for this one you've of course got the 2016 Honda Civic Type R and the 2003 Honda S2000 as you've already seen. Both of these are purist tunes, there's only one PI to work with with the Civic so I've kind of put, I've managed to get rally tyres on by thickening the rear tyres and the rear rims 
um, and then that's really about it. And for the Honda S2000, I've got the Rocket Bunny kit on with a nice wing, uh, rear wheel drive, turbo, um, mainly grip build on the S2000 there, um, but the Civic is probably more a, a, a bit of both. Okay, and the other seasonal championship is called Rally Heroes. This one is dirt racing, and the restriction is C-Class Japanese Retro Rally. Okay, so for this one we have the 1990 Subaru Legacy RS. This is of course a different tune to the B-Class one that I shared earlier. Um, so this one's got just over 300 horsepower. Um, it hasn't got rally tyres, but it is on rally suspension and got a few of the rally bits, so should be okay for this one. And then we also have the Toyota Celica GT4 from 1992 again, not to be confused with the 94. It's the same model as the B-Class one shared before, but of course also a um, different tune. Um, I just want to give a bit of advice on these challenges here. So for the photo challenge, you need to go to the uh, Aerodromo en La Salva uh, and take a photograph next to the stone lanterns. If you're not sure where that is, it is the Aerodrome below Mulej slash Mulehe slash Mulege, however the hell you pronounce that uh, town, um, below the highway. So that is the most southern airstrip, the one that's kind of in the uh, jungle. Um, you need to go there and find these stone lanterns. Um, and it also requires you to um, well collect slash smash eight of the lucky cats uh, at the same location. So I just thought I'd clear that one up. Um, and then of course with the um, Hot Wheels challenges, the S2 PR stunt obviously use the same cars as I suggested for the other ones. Um, but you could also use uh, some of the road S2 cars like the Rimac um, and things like that. And then of course uh, for the seasonal championship wheelie cool, same cars as I suggested before for the other B-Class Japan events will be suitable for that one. I haven't got a tune for the 4th one yet, um, however you'll probably be able to do that stock. Um, if not you can download a tune from the community or any other channel, channel that you uh, support on YouTube um, to help you with that one. Okay then, so that will be it for this video guys, I know it's been short and uh, snappy but thank you very much for watching anyway, I'll hopefully be back next week with a normal video, I know I did say on the stream at the weekend that uh, this should should have been a normal uh, weekly guide, however I just simply didn't really have uh, enough time today so I do apologise for that but I did try to get a little video out for you um, so that you've got something to go on for, for the week with the uh, tunes. So, I hope you have enjoyed, I hope the tunes are useful, if they are then uh, do, not, do consider subscribing to the channel and hopefully I'll be back next week with normal content as I said and if you've got any questions of course leave them in the comments and I'll try my best to reply to them. So thank you for watching once again, enjoy the seasonal events and I shall see you next week hopefully. Bye!